Virgo, this is your weekly reading. Let's see what we have for you, Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? We have the mirror. And visions. Hmm. There's something that you are receiving through meditation or through contemplation or reflection. I'm seeing this person look into the mirror. And they are like, you know, like thinking about, like they're looking into their eyes and like seeing themselves deeply beyond the physical like look it into your soul almost i see here that there is something or it could be a spirit that's trying to communicate to you through the mirror or through your reflection or you could be a narcissist <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> maybe you know what they say about narcissists? Narcissists, you know who narcissist is, right? The person that was looking into his reflection and fell in love with his reflection. Not knowing that it is his reflection. <laughs> it's a good funny story, actually. Wait, let me get my cat out of the room because she's getting on my nerve. Get out of there. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, be a good girl, come on. Right, let's see, let's see what this whole thing is about. you're uh, spending a lot of time alone spending a lot of time alone finding peace in solitude finding truth in solitude whoa these just came out in the weirdest way possible there is worry about the future here there is worry about your love life too and I feel like whenever you think about finding love or getting love or wanting love, there is a pause. You're like, do I really need it because it's, it's too much work or it's like too much burden? I'm at peace on my own. I do want love, but is it worth it? I do want love, but will it benefit me in any way? Because it seems like whenever you get in a connection, there is something that puts you off being in a connection. It's like, you don't see the benefit of being in a connection. You would rather be alone. You would rather be alone and focus on your coin, your career, developing yourself. This could be your hermit space. Like this could be Virgo, that you want to be in hermit mode because the hermit is you. The hermit is a Virgo card. You could be in, in in a situation or in a time where you just want to be left alone, you just want to do your thing, you want to be away from the drama, away from the dating scene, and just focus on yourself because you see a lot of disadvantage of being or trying to be with someone. I 
there's something about you like there's a bit of conflict here there's something about you wanting to be with someone but also there's a part of you that's like nah too much drama too much trouble too much blah blah and that is where the conflict is within you but you're mostly leaning towards not dating or not wanting to be with someone but there is a part of you that wants it like there is there are moments in your life where you're like oh you know maybe you look at a couple and you're like i want that that looks nice you know holding hands or maybe you know getting a cuddle a cuddle in like staying at home cuddling or whatever romantic thing things that you are you fancy this is something that you want but you don't want to work on a connection to be in one does that make sense you, do, you just don't want to go through the the work the labor of working or being in a connection Let me look into more. Let, let's see, let's see. What should Virgo do? Listen to your intuition. Do know your worth. When it comes to you choosing someone that could be abusive or could be using you, do know your worth. You don't, you don't need to be with someone that could be taking advantage of you. So you need to listen to your intuition when it comes to you being with someone so if you are dating people or trying to date someone and they show you certain things that you don't like it is okay to pull back to end it right there and then don't try to change people because that is nearly impossible people don't change for you they change for themselves and if you are trying to convince someone to fix something, you are just blowing a pierced balloon. You don't fix people. I know Virgo, you, you're trying, like you like to fix things, but don't fix people. If someone is not ready to be in a connection that you like, what, like if you're, if someone is not ready to be in a connection that you are wishing for, it's okay, move on. Find something else. Don't let yourself stay in a connection that isn't working just because you want it to work. You just don't want to, uh, you know, like cause drama by mentioning things that you don't like. You need to stand up by your morals. Stand up by your values. Know your value because you bring a lot to the table. You, you need to understand that you bring a lot to the table. Listen to your intuition again and again here because you have downloads through you being in that moment of peacefulness. So if you meditate, if you, um, if you do things that make you feel like you are in a meditative state, use that to tap into the, the visions or the messages that are trying to come your way from spirit or your higher self or your spirit guides okay let's see if there's an extra message here for you regarding the time of the reading let's see <laughs> <clears throat> So the time of the reading given here is 7.47 p.m. where I am. Angel number 747 indicates that your strong connection to your strong connection with the angels have or has allowed for you to receive precise divine guidance. And in turn, you have taken the appropriate actions in your life. Your angels offer you their con congratulations and urge you to continue on your current path. If you feel like you need to be in the hermit mode, well then, 
this is your energy you know how to do it you know how to you know use it so i'll leave you with that okay virgo i will see you soon